your connected information network inside your body, cooperation not competition ensures a healthy body. You are made up of an estimated 110 trillion cells. 90% of those 110 trillion cells are not from you. You are 90% bacteria, fungi and virus and only 10% human. Scientists are focusing on the impact on health caused by the bacterial microbiome. A study published in the journal Interdisciplinary Perspectives on Infectious Diseases in 2008 looked at the microbiome and how microbes work as a network. Certain disease states caused by bacteria can only be understood by using networking as a model to understand the situation. Bacteria don't live in isolation. They must form alliances and partnerships with other bacteria to get along with the other bacteria in the neighborhood. Using mathematics to understand the networks of bacteria is a better way to study the behavior. Bacteria is looked at by science by three different behaviors. Commensal bacteria is bacteria that don't harm us and may or may not have any positive effect for us. A mutualistic bacteria give both us and them a positive effect. A pathogenic bacteria harm us and gets a reward for doing so. Science is finding out that the difference in good versus bad bacteria is mostly determined by the location it is living in. E. coli can be a commensal bacteria in the nose, but be a pathogen in the urinary tract. The paper I am referencing studied the vaginal microbiome. Studies show that women of different nationalities have different vaginal microbiomes. Even though the microbiomes are different the key objective is to keep the pH low and to keep pathogens from taking over. Bacterial communities are very diverse. Because of the diversity, bacteria living inside us use the same principles bacteria use in lakes and other waterways. The bacteria use a system called a trophic web. This web is composed of the natural food cycle, we find in all known life. There are producers consumers and decomposers. Bacteria cooperate by trading food needed by other bacteria. In the trophic web theory the community would have one or two main consumers while other bacteria consumed the metabolites in a trickle-down fashion. If the system is efficient enough to break down the metabolites down into carbon then CO2 is produced. If not, then fermentation molecules are produced. The web is made up of very few specialist bacteria. Natural selection plays a major role in who thrives and who dies in the community. The community can be dictated by who is the strongest who got there first. This can easily explain why there is no perfect microbiome. The health of the individual microbiome is determined by the cooperation of all the bacteria to get along by cooperating and helping with the overall goal of health instead of specifically jostling for space. The people and environments of New York are very different than the people of Los Angeles but are both very productive, functional and sustainable. We may discover the same type of situation occurring with healthy microbiomes of people of different cultures. The microbiome network may be tied together by nodes and hubs similar to the Internet. Disturbances in the connections within the nodes and hubs represent keystone species involved in controlling the microbiome. The connectedness of keystone species keeps the network stable. A better strategy towards investigating mystery illnesses may be to look at the holistic interactions of the system instead of looking for a pathogen. What is pathogenic in one system may not be pathogenic in another system. Application of Ecological Network Theory to the Human Microbiome Interdisciplinary Perspectives on Infectious Diseases Volume 2008-2008 Article Idaho 839501 link at http colon slash slash www.huntawi.com slash journals slash ipad slash 2008 slash 839501 slash